This video will try to create awareness among the internet users about the trends of online identification theft known as farming. It will explain how it works and steps that can be taken to prevent it from happening. It will also show the differentiation between farming and its cousin fishing. Let's begin by explaining what farming is and how it works. Farming is an internet scamming practice in which malicious code is installed on a personal computer or server misdirecting users to a fraudulent website without their knowledge or consent. Farming has been called phishing without a lure. Here is a simple analogy to illustrate how farming works. Imagine that whenever you want to go to your bank, you pick up your phone directory and look up for the bank's address. Once you have the bank's address, you then make your move to the bank. In farming, a simple way that attackers can do is by replacing the phone book with the one that they created. Now when you pick up that rogue phone book, you get the bank's address. It will actually give you the wrong address. At this wrong address, the attackers will have set up a fake bank that looks just like your bank. When you do business with this fake bank, you'll give up all your sensitive bank account information. However, you'll never realize that you were at a fake bank since you trusted the address that you got from what you thought was your legitimate telephone book. <laughs> Large numbers of users can be victimized because it is not necessary to target users one by one. Farming can actually redirect large numbers of users to the fake bank. Now let's look at this scenario in a technical term. First of all, let's replace the phone book with a domain name system or a DNS server. And the bank's address is an internet protocol or IP address. The bank would actually be a legitimate website, in this case it's www.nice.com. A DNS server is a place where you store all the IP address of various websites. Using various techniques, the attackers will change the IP address of the legitimate website in the DNS server to an IP address which will bring the user to a fake or bogus website. When a user wants to go to www.nice.com and types the address in the web browser, the user's computer queries the DNS server for the IP address of www.nice.com. Since the DNS server has already been poisoned by the attacker, it returns the IP address of the fake website to the user's computer. The user's computer is tricked into thinking that the poison reply is the correct IP address of the website. Instead of going to the original website, the user has now been fooled into visiting the fake website controlled by the attacker. Once the attacker has managed to get the users to visit the fake website, there are many ways in which the user can be tricked into revealing his or her credential or giving out personal information. The beauty or let's say the infamy of farming over fishing is evident from the fact that one successful attempt in poisoning the DNS server can be potentially used to trick all the users of that DNS service. Phishing is a dangerous internet scam in an attempt to gather personal and financial information from or unsuspecting person. How phishing works Typically, attackers would bait bank customers by sending a genuine-looking email message, supposedly from well-known and trustworthy website. An example website include PayPal, eBay, MSN, Yahoo, and many more. The email will contain a link whereby the users or the victim are asked to click on the link in order to access their account and update their information. If the victims click on the link, however, they will be taken to a spoof web page that asks for personal information, including credit card numbers, personal identification numbers, social security numbers, banking numbers, and passwords. This information is then used for identity theft. In phishing, the attacker sends out legitimate-looking emails appearing to come from some of the web's most popular sites in an effort to obtain personal and financial information from individual recipients. However, farming attacks do not require an attacker to send emails. 
In phishing, the attacker target individual computer user one by one only, whereas in farming, larger numbers of computer users can be victimized because it is not necessary to target individual one by one and no conscious action is required on the part of the victim. Farming are more difficult to detect. Instead of relying users to click the link in a fake email, farming can actually redirect users to fake website even if they type the right website's address. What website developers should do? Given the distributed nature of farming attacks, it is difficult to prevent them completely. However, the following precautions can be taken. Use SSL certificate to help establish the true identity of your website. SSL is an acronym for Secure Socket Layer. SSL certificates cannot be duplicated and thus are very effective in alerting a user about a farming attack. Ensure that the DNS server have been secured and hardened. The important point to note is to switch off recursive queries in the DNS server configuration. An anti-farming tool is available for Windows-based server. It passively protects the server from farming attacks which uses DNS poisoning techniques. Keep simple names for your domains which can be easily recalled by customers and which are lesser prone to typos. What you as a user can do? The best defense against phishing and farming scams is to distrust emails messages supposedly sent by your bank or emails which ask for your personal information. If you visit an SSL enabled website, look out for this warning message window. If you get it, double check if the website you are visiting gave this message in earlier instances. Check if the URL is the same that you intend to go to. This message window generally appears when the server SSL certificate does not match with the website URL and if the certificate has expired. It could also mean it is not signed by a trusted root certificate authority. Install anti-phishing and anti-farming tools for web browsers. These tools help differentiate a genuine website from a fake website. Farming and phishing scams are growing in the internet. By being aware of these scams, you can feel confident when you do transaction online.